Well, thanks to Stu for today's early races, and I'm going to kick off with a three-runner, two-mile nought to 120 handicap chase. Uh, Regents Ford for James Shea, brilliant melody for Alex Cherry, and Esther Tide Revelation for James Shea. So, three horses, two trainers, and away we go. And uh, we run straight through the 3D advertising slogans. Uh, quirky start today, too, for me. And let's get towards the first of the 11 fences, and let's hope these are some decent jumpers. And uh, 0 to 120, I'm guessing that uh, as they pass the winning post, these are two of James Shea's. Hunter Chase winners who have now found themselves weighted out of those events. So, we should be fairly certain that they can jump round. Oh, brilliant melody for Alex Cherry. He's going to try and ruin James Shea's party and beat him. So, we're racing towards the first. A long run to the first. And brilliant melody is in the lead. A good six lengths clear. Of Regents Ford and Esther Tide Revelation. Three of them. Galloping along on this huge run to the first. Almost covered five furlongs before they get to the first of the fences, and they get to it eventually, and they've all skipped over it nicely. With brilliant melody, well clear. Regents Ford second, and Esther Tide Revelation third as they get to the first ditch, and they're all over that one nicely. I suppose I should be just thanking my lucky stars. This is in the four miler as they get to the third, and they're all safely over that one as well. And Alex Cherry's brilliant melody clearing the lead as they get over number four. Mistake by Regents Ford in second, and Esther Tide Revelations now moved alongside its stable mate to take a share of that position. And they get to the fifth, and they will skip over that one. James Shea pair now getting closer to Alex Cherry's horse as they race to the sixth, which they're all over safely. Well, I guess if you're the handicapper, these sort of races have got to be very difficult to weigh up. Probably just three or four runners in it. It must be very difficult to, to know how well something's won. Oh, it's not a job I'd want. Uh, although we all moan about the handicappers, Mr. Clutterbuck used to really give me some terrible handicap marks on the jumps. They started doing it on the flat now, but anyway, we don't like to moan about them because it's a difficult job and I certainly wouldn't want to do it. This sitting here waffling into a microphone is far, far easier than handicapping. A brilliant melody in the lead. Esther Time Revelation second, Regents forward third as they get to the seventh. And over that one they go. I'm safely over it, still racing in Indian file, but Regents forward just getting a little bit detached at the back, although dropped that one quite well. And he's now getting a little bit close. That one is the top weight and brilliant melody. He's still the leader. And Esther Tide Revelation second as they get to the ninth. Esther Tide Revelation jumped that really well. And just two more fences to take then. And as they get to the second, that's a really good jump by the leader. Brilliant melody. Alex Cherry looks like he's going to have a good chance of ruining the James Shea party here then. The brilliant melody races down towards the final fence in the lead. Gets over it well, gets away from it well. Esther Tide Revelation second, Regent Ford third. Now though, Esther Tide Revelation and Regent Ford sweep by. And it's going to be a James Shea one two. And Esther Tide Revelation and Regent Ford. So Esther Tide Revelation takes it. Regent Ford second, brilliant melody third. The best thing everybody can take from that is that's two James Shea horses that can't win the Hunter Chases this week. He's dominant in that sphere this season, and it's a great way to get yourself some winners. I don't know, because I've done it in the past, but this year I'm pretty much out of them. But anyway, James Shea looks like he's going to be the king of the hunters, but he's also looking like he might be the king of the 0 to 120s at the moment as well, as he takes the first and second. Esther Tide Revelation and Regents Ford, brilliant melody back in third for Alex Cherry. <laughs>